I'm ready to start if, uh, if the minister is. Okay, sure. Hello and thank you all for joining me today. Uh, I'm really excited to talk to you today about Alberta's construction industry and uh, about changes that are coming up to the Builders Lean Act. Construction is a multi-billion dollar industry in Alberta and it employs roughly one in ten Albertans. Many families rely upon a healthy construction industry to put food on the table and to pay their mortgages. Many Alberta entrepreneurs have put their life savings on the line to build a business in the construction industry creating jobs, investing in our province, province's future. The construction industry is a big part of Alberta's economy, our culture, and our way of life. As Alberta faces the challenges ahead uh, on the road to economic recovery, we need a strong construction industry. But in order to have a strong industry, we need to address a problem that has been growing uh, for a number of years. And that is the problem of not getting paid in a timely manner for the work that has been done. In the construction industry, this is called prompt payment. So why is this an issue? Well, let's consider the following scenario. Consider a, a general contractor who is leading a multi-million dollar construction project who is also facing financial difficulties. In order to address their challenges, they choose to delay paying their subcontractors. While normal payment terms would be within 30 to 45 days, uh, they instead wait 90 or 120 or sometimes even 180 days before paying their subcontractors for work that was already completed. And so to handle the pressure of not being paid, the subcontractors then also need to delay paying their suppliers. And the cycle continues. In this environment, nobody gets paid on time for the work they have completed, and this makes it difficult for them to bid on new jobs it makes it difficult for them to make payroll and, and to uh, pay, pay their employees. And in many cases, it pushes businesses to the brink of bankruptcy. So today, I'm pleased to be bringing forward legislation that directly addresses these concerns and gives Albertans who are working in the construction industry the certainty they need to conduct business, to protect jobs, and to support Alberta's economic recovery. I'd like to walk through a few highlights of this legislation that I will be tabling later this afternoon. First, we will make it mandatory for payments to be made within 28 days. Second, we will prohibit the use of pay when paid clauses in construction contracts. Third, we will give contractors more time to file liens in the event that they are needed if they are not paid on time. And fourth, we will provide a dispute resolution service uh, to handle non-compliance of the prompt payment system. This will end up being faster and cheaper than going through the courts. The changes that I am bringing forward today are the result of an extensive consultation process. Over the last 12 months, I have worked very closely with construction companies and trade associations from all across Alberta. And thanks to their efforts, and to their insights, I am confident that we have found the right solution to this problem. I am also proud of how quickly we have acted to deliver this much needed relief to the construction industry in Alberta. In Ontario, they recently overhauled their le legislation on this matter and it took them almost four years. And I'm pleased to say that we've got this done in one year. This legislation is about more than just prompt payment. This is about protecting jobs for Albertans. This is about giving Alberta employers the certainty they need so that they can plan for the future, expand their business, and create jobs. At its core, this legislation is all about supporting Alberta's economic recovery. Long before I was elected as an MLA, I was hearing about this problem that we are fixing today. And if you talk to the many folks in the industry who are supporting this legislation, they will tell you that they have been asking for these changes. They've been asking for action to address this problem for as much as seven years. So today, I'm glad to be standing here and announcing that we have listened, we have heard their concerns, and we have taken action to deliver a prompt payment system for the construction industry in Alberta. And now I'll invite Frederick Vine, 
chair of the Alberta Construction Association, to say a few words. I'd like to thank the minister for um, the progress so far and uh, all your comments towards the concerns from the construction industry. Alberta Construction Association has been advocating for the principles of prompt pay for a long time. Uh, construction payments and cycles uh, um, are very complex within the construction industry with many cascading tiers of subcontractors and suppliers. But we're pleased that the government has had a very extensive consultation process with the industry and has been listening. Um, this legislation is a first step towards achieving prompt payment in Alberta, and we're looking forward toward uh, working with the government in developing the regulatory details. Alberta Construction Association and our affiliates uh, partners uh, will propose being named as the nominating authority for the dispute resolution process that was announced today. And um, again, we're looking forward to achieving the, the principles of prompt payment. I'd like to invite um, Elaine Coates of Calgary Women in Construction to make a few comments as well. Thank you, everyone. Speaking on behalf of the Calgary Women in Construction Group and also the Calgary Renovation Contractors Association, we are very pleased with the ministers and the government's efforts to update the Builders Lean Act with Bill 37 regarding the prompt payments that will potentially alleviate a lot of stress on many construction businesses and owners. I, I have personally uh, been an, an owner operator of a small central vacuum company, primarily dealing with renovators and custom builders for over 20 years now. And I can attest that unpaid invoices for good work has arisen, not often, but it has. It directly and negatively affects our bottom line and it can potentially trickle down to unpaid subcontractors. This in turn affects thousands of hardworking Albertan men and women. The words, words on the page of the current bill don't identify the struggles that we construction people actually feel. They don't reflect the wide span of impact on related sectors as well. It all filters down to affect the economy, no matter how minute it may seem in each situation. With construction typically contributing a healthy portion to our economy and GDP, this bill amendment is crucial and timely now more than ever. So thank you to the minister and, and his team for acting on this bill amendment so quickly and effectively for all, from all of us in construction. Thank you. All right, thank you everyone. Uh, at this point, we will turn it over to any potential questions you might have. Uh, as a couple reminders, first of all, this is embargoed until the minister tables the legislation this afternoon. And second, we do have available to answer your questions, Minister Glubish, Frederick Vine of the Alberta Construction Association, and Elaine Coates of Calgary Women in Construction. Operator, can you put through the first question, please? Our first question comes from Ashley Joano of Post Media. Your line is open. Hi, good morning. Um, this is a question for the minister. Um, the bill would take the contract disputes process out of the court and create this new adjudication body. Uh, we don't have a lot of details yet on who's going to be a part of that adjudication body, um, but you have the power to appoint nominators. So I guess I'm just wondering how you assure Albertans that the people who will have the power to adjudicate and make these binding decisions will be fair and balanced the way a court would be. Sure. Thank you, Ashley. Uh, good question. So uh, the, the, the approach for appointing authorized nominating authorities uh, to, to, into the adjudication role, um, it, it follows the model of what Ontario has done as they've reformed their, uh, their similar legislation to address the prompt payment issues. And that is to uh, to work with the industry to identify uh, partners who become these authorized nominating authorities, who will then uh, o oversee the uh, the nomination or the adjudication process. They will follow the regulatory environment that we develop in consultation with industry to to uh, outline exactly how those processes will work and how the rules will be uh, enforced. 
And, uh, but what we will also be doing that is different from Ontario is we will be having the ability to appoint more than one of these adjudicating bodies, uh, allowing for competition in the system to ensure that Albertans can count on having uh, the best rates, the best service, and timely uh, adjudication. Ashley, do you have a follow-up? Uh, yeah, I guess I just was hoping for a little bit more detail about, about what you hope, like what industries will re be represented in adjudicators and what qualifications you hope they'll have to make sure that they are making fair decisions. Well, um, certainly my job as minister is to make sure that the best people possible uh, are the ones in the position to do that job. And uh, I don't want to prejudge what that's going to look like because uh, we, we have not passed this legislation. We have not completed the supporting regulations, uh, all of which will be done in time for the July 2021 uh, proclamation of this legislation, assuming that it, it uh, should, should pass uh, the legislature uh, in this fall sitting. Um, but sh should it move forward? Um, then as we flesh out those legislations in consultation with industry, um, then I will work with the industry to identify interested candidates uh, to apply for those roles, and it will be my job to make sure it's the best people possible to do the job. Operator, are there any other questions on the line? There are no other questions in the queue at this time. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Frederick and Elaine, for your participation as well, and have a great day. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.